it going YouTube? It's the sauce bringing you another delicious beer review. Today I have something I've been meaning to try for a long time. <clears throat> Germany's original wheat Doppelbach ale, a Ventinus. So, it says on the back, world's classic comp fermenting wheat Doppelbach. Perfect balance of fruity spiciness, banana flow, vanilla, and notes of chocolate. Unfiltered, unpasteurized bottle conditioning. It's been on my list for a while. Today's bottle opener, what I'm going to use is... You probably already have one lying around, but... uh. Didn't expect that one. I chipped my bottle. Big old break in the bottle. But it worked. Now that that's done dripping. A lot of foam. Big head on that one. Big, big head. We're looking at like a hazy brown with a beige pale head. Big three fingers of head. That was a really, really shaken almost. Is aggravated. You could already smell it. As soon as I started pouring, you can smell the goodness. I think I can smell banana. Bread. Alcohol smell. You can smell the alcohol in it. But really fragrant. Very fragrant. That is really good retention time on that head, too. That is really just keeping up there. I want it to go down so I can take my sip. This was created in uh, Bavaria, Germany in 1907. It's uh, 8.0 alcohol. 8.0 to 8.5 because it, it, it differs. And uh, Aventinus is named after a Bavarian historian. That's really good smelling. Mm. You can taste the banana. That is crazy. Clove, delicious clove. I can. I don't think I would have been able to point it out unless it didn't say on the back of the bottle, but clove stands out. Nice malts, delicious malts. It tastes so good. Maybe a little caramel, just a little bit. I don't know what year it was, but uh. Aventinus got the um, the award for best Doppelbach. I don't remember reading that somewhere, and that's when it was put high up on my list. But uh, Aventinus, double thumbs up, great beer.